Oh, hi, I'm Elon Schwartz uh, from Austin, Texas, here at the Borgata playing some cards. Haven't been here in about two years. Glad to be here, having a great time. My life has changed a lot since winning the, the World Series. I mean, I, I don't grind as hard as I used to. Um, you know, I, I, can, I can travel and play cards when I want to, which is nice. Um, I uh, got a little bar in Brooklyn. Um, winning the tournament definitely made it easier to drink <laughs> more alcohol and um, and took a lot of pressure off the uh, you know all the the strain of buy-ins and and uh, you know bills which is sometimes handcuffs a poker player they're not you know able to get in touch with all the creative you know possibilities because they're you know stuck or have a red figure or something like that so when that evaporates it's definitely it's definitely a huge uh, load off uh, poker players back and it it definitely uh, made things a lot a lot better Still. yeah chess I wasn't playing that much because I got immersed in poker um, I stopped studying chess probably in 96 97 I, I haven't really looked at a book since then but I still play online that's that's my favorite game actually right. um, but uh, it's when you turn 30 and you're you know you're broke it's it's not cute anymore <laughs> so I had I, I kind of realized that I had to make some dough and, and poker just made sense I've played a, a couple of tournaments and nobody no nobody nobody has tried to sway me back into it but I, I, I intend to play a little bit next next year after the World Series next year. Um, I love the Borgata. I, you know, I came here when it opened, and they had the the old poker room downstairs in the in the M4 lounge, what's now the M4 lounge. And uh, you know, back then it was the Taj was uh, poker Xanadu, and uh, the Borgata opened, and people started coming over here. And um, yeah, I played my first tournaments over here. In fact, the last live tournament I won before. The, the horse event this year at the series was in 2007 at uh, a, a Borgata Friday tournament for like 25k, and um, you know these live tournaments are hard to are hard to to take down. But uh, you know it's it's always nice to come back to Borgata and you know see all the old people and and uh, try to make a score here too. Yeah, the bracelet was phenomenal. Uh, I'm still in shock. I really, uh, you know. Yeah, all the years of, of grinding just uh, finally just came into this one moment, and uh, we played a four-day horse tournament, which is, which doesn't happen. You know, we, we, we were there so late, and when we came back on day four, uh, three-handed, it was, um, it was just extremely high stakes, and I got the money in, and and it was just over really, really fast, and uh, I can't believe it. I'm still, I still get flustered when I think about it. That's because. Um, Y'all always had that, you know. It's it's the uh, it's the feather in the cap for every poker player, and they it just uh, it feels great. The money is fantastic, and uh, you know it's what we work so hard for. You know, three months up to World Series time, I'm doing like all the right things. Um, I cut down on all the the crap, and uh, you know. You really work hard. I yeah. prepare very hard every summer. I really don't do anything. I hardly play any poker. I take time off. I just uh, do a lot of yoga, eat right, hardly drink at all, go to the forest, clear my mind, go to Mount Charleston, hang out in the mountains, and then go play poker and, and really sit there because it's hard. you got to sit there for almost two months. And uh, so all of that hard work and, uh, you know, the long nights, uh, overnight, poker rooms back in Manhattan in the in the early 90s finally came to be a, a bracelet and that's it's an awesome feeling